to Ecoholics. I am Mansi and starting from today our team Ecoholics will be providing you free courses for 11th and 12th economics. So starting from today we'll be learning microeconomics first. So the first chapter of microeconomics is uh, economics and economy. So in this chapter we'll be learning about economics and all about the economy. So the topic for today is uh, the topics for today are what is economics, scarcity and choice, resources, difference between microeconomics and macroeconomics, positive and normative economics, what is an economy and what are the types of economics and some practice questions for all of you after this module. Let's move further and understand our first topic that is what is economics. So we have been a part of economics since our childhood. So the most uh, simple example would be uh, you uh, borrowing some money from your father to get a candy. Now this is economics uh, in its most simplest form. And why do I say it is economics in the most simplest form? Because uh, it involves certain process of economics. For example, you are borrowing the money from your father. So your father has earned that money. Uh, from uh, wherever the place he is employed into. Now you are taking that money to buy a candy for your consumption. So you get these terms consumption, uh, borrowing and earning all these are economics term. So you've been using economics since your childhood and you probably don't know it. So from today, starting from today, our team Ecoholics will be uh, trying to help you to deal with all these concepts of economics, these terms of economics so that you can use it and proudly say you are an economist. So let's start with this first um, topic. So our first topic is what is economics about? What exactly is economics? So the term economics in English language has its origin from two Greek words. The two words are oikos and nemen. So oikos simply means household and nemen means management. These words together mean management of households. So household here doesn't mean one household. Here we are talking about all the collective households and when we do this collection a household can be as a country also. So here we are basically dealing with whole country and its management. So that is what economics is about. You are managing the whole country. Now uh, here is a most uh, a small example for you all to think and process. So imagine just imagine you are the most rich and powerful person in the world. Now you desire something. So being rich and powerful you might think that oh I can get everything I desire or uh, I can get uh, everything I wish to get. Now you uh, being rich and powerful doesn't mean you can get everything. It simply means that your wants are unlimited. So human wants are unlimited but your uh, means to satisfy these wants are very scarce or limited. So in this entire economic subject what we basically deals with how to allocate these resources uh, to satisfy our wants. So what we realize is humans wants are unlimited but the resources to satisfy our wants and desires are very limited and in this entire subject of economics we learn how to allocate these scarce resources to maximize our satisfaction. Now let's move on to another topic. So the, our next topic is uh, the definition of economics. So what we basically learn in economics. So we learn that uh, economics is a science of human behavior concerned with the allocation of scarce resources in such a manner uh, that it maximizes uh, their satisfaction level. So basically here are three things which you need to keep in mind. The first thing is uh, economics is a science of human behavior. Okay, so human behavior is the first thing. Next thing, allocation of scarce resources is the second most important thing which you need to keep in mind while writing the definition of economics. Third thing is uh, maximizes their satisfaction. Whose satisfaction? The person who is allocating the resource or the firm who is uh, allocating the resource. So uh, these are the three points basically which you need to keep in mind. First thing is the science of human behavior. 
Second thing is uh, allocation of scarce resources. And what is the purpose? The purpose is to maximize the satisfaction level. So these uh, three are the basic important terms. Now, uh, depending upon who you are, for example, if you are a producer, you need to maximize your profit. Okay. Now, if you are a consumer, if you are looking at economics from a consumer's point of view, so you need to maximize your satisfaction. And if you are a society at an institution, level if you are that person who is uh, there in the societal level so you have to, uh, your motive is to maximize the social welfare so depending upon who you are your motives change so for a producer it is to maximize the profit for a consumer it is to uh, maximize your satisfaction level and for the society it is to maximize your total welfare so this was all about what is economics and what is the basic definition of economics. Let's move on to the next topic. So our next topic is the essence of economics. So what is this basically? These are the two most famous terms you'll be looking at in your entire economic syllabus. Number one is scarcity and number two is choice. So what is scarcity? Scarcity basically means uh, to have something less. If you have something less, that is known as your scarcity. And what is choice? Choice means basically you have to choose from the given uh, options. For example, if uh, let's take this example. I have given a very small example, very basic example for you all to understand. So the example is, suppose you have one rupees and you want a chocolate and all these chocolates are priced for one rupee each. Now you only have one rupees and how come you get all the five, how will you get all these five chocolates when you have limited resource that is your one rupee. So what you basically do is you have to choose key which uh, chocolate is most favorite to me or which chocolate I like the most. So what you are doing here, you are uh, choosing which chocolate you want, which is an outcome of your scarcity of resources. So what happened here? You had one rupee. ठीक है आपको पांच चॉकलेट चाहिए थी सारी चॉकलेट का प्राइस एक एक रुपए था ठीक है लेकिन आपके पास तो सिर्फ एक ही रुपए तो आप क्या करेंगे आप इसमें से चुनेंगे कि मुझे सबसे ज्यादा कौन सी पसंद है ठीक है उसके पास आप उसको चुन लेंगे क्योंकि आपके पास सिर्फ एक रुपए था तो मतलब आपके पास पैसे कम है कम होना मतलब यू हैव स्कैरसिटी ऑफ रिसोर्सेज नाउ नेक्स्ट थिंग आपको चुनना पड़ा दैट इज योर चॉइस सो स्कैरसिटी की वजह से आपने चुना सो स्कैरसिटी की वजह से चॉइस आया तो चॉइस इज एन आउटकम ऑफ स्कैरसिटी सो दिस इज योर एग्जाम्पल एंड हेयर आई हैव मैंशन टू स्मॉल पॉइंट्स ऑन स्कैरसिटी फर्स्ट पॉइंट इज वॉट यू हैव इज लेस देन वॉट यू विश टू हैव दैट इज योर स्केरसिटी मतलब आपके पास सप्लाई ऑफ रिसोर्सेज इज वेरी लेस एज कम्पेयर टू योर डिमांड फॉर रिसोर्सेज जैसे कि इफ यू सी दिस एग्जाम्पल वॉट यू सी इज आपको बहुत सारे पैसे चाहिए थे मतलब पाँच चॉकलेट चाहिए थी यू रिक्वायर्ड फाइव रुपीज बट यू ओनली गॉट वन रुपीज मतलब आपके पास स्केरसिटी है किसकी रिसोर्सेज की नेक्स्ट थिंग आपको चुनना पड़ा दैट इज योर चॉइस तो चॉइस क्या है इट इज एन आउटकम ऑफ स्केरसिटी Choice is the process of selection from available limited alternative. तो ये choice आप किससे करते हैं Basically from the resources you have available availability there. So choice is an outcome of scarcity. ये दोनों चीज़ें you have to understand it very nicely because uh, entire economics is based on scarcity, choice, allocation of resources. So this was all about scarcity and choice. Now let's move on. And understand what is the meaning of resources. मतलब इतने देर से we are talking about कि कि what are the scarce resources और हमको किसको allocate करना है basically. तो हम किसको allocate करेंगे? We'll understand about this term resources and means in this slide. So what this slide is? So resources basically means service or other asset. used to produce goods and services that meet human needs and wants. For example. If uh, you want to buy something, ठीक है तो आपका money आपका resource हुआ because that is needed for you to buy something. Okay, so resource क्या हुआ किसी भी चीज़ अगर आपको कुछ चीज़ चाहिए तो उसके लिए वॉट एवर आपके पास है फॉर एग्जाम्पल पैसे नहीं है तो कुछ और चीज़ है जिसको आप कोलेट्रल रख के ले सकते हैं तो दैट कैन ऑल्सो बी योर रिसोर्स ओके सो रिसोर्स इज 
ऑल दो थिंग्स जिसकी वजह से आप अपना वॉन्ट्स और नीड्स को सेटिस्फाई करते हैं सो दैट इज़ योर रिसोर्स एंड मीन्स सो दे देर आर टू बेसिक कैरेक्टर्स ऑफ रिसोर्सेज नंबर फर्स्ट कैरेक्टर इज स्केर सिटी सेकेंड इज ऑल्टरनेटिव व्यूज सो स्केर सिटी एज आई टोल्ड यू अर्लियर इट इज इट मीन्स किसी भी चीज़ का कम होना तो रिसोर्सेज हमेशा इन एवरी वेयर यू विल फाइंड रिसोर्सेज स्केज ओनली रिसोर्सेज आर ऑलवेज लिमिटेड सेकेंड थिंग ऑल्टरनेटिव यूजेस मतलब एक रिसोर्स जो आपके पास है उसके बहुत सारे यूज होते हैं ठीक है जैसे कि लैंड लैंड एक रिसोर्स है ओके okay, लैंड में आप खेती भी कर सकते हैं लैंड में आप इंडस्ट्री भी खड़ी कर सकते हैं तो क्या हुआ एक लैंड लैंड तो एक ही है लेकिन उसके कितने सारे रिसोर्सेज है फॉर एग्जाम्पल सो दिस वॉज वन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ लैंड नाउ नेक्स्ट थिंग इफ यू सी होम तो एक घर भी एक रिसोर्स हुआ ओके okay, घर में आप रह भी सकते हैं और फॉर एग्जाम्पल आपको छोटा मोटा बिजनेस स्टार्ट करना है तो आप घर को एज अ छोटा सा बिजनेस भी यूज कर सकते हैं स्मॉल कॉटेज इंडस्ट्री टाइप्स सो एक रिसोर्स के कितने सारे ऑल्टरनेटिव यूज हैं ओके सो दैट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ ऑल्टरनेटिव यूजेस ओके सो रिसोर्सेस के दो बेसिक कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स हैं scarcity and alternative uses so this was all about the alternative uses of resources now let's uh, completely understand abhi tak what we have read abhi tak we have read that scarcity scarcity means less of something that is your scarcity and scarcity causes choice due to scarce resources you have to choose between the different alternatives and what does choice imply it implies decision making you have to decide ki what is the most important resources out of the available resources you need to uh, have so decision making involves two things that is your usage of limited resources and maximum satisfaction that is when you decide you decide on these two things that is your usage how you are going to use your limited resources and the last thing how can you maximize your satisfaction okay